Hello, and welcome to 101nursing.com. My name is Priscilla, and today we'll be talking about hemodialysis. Hemodialysis occurs with patients that have chronic um, kidney disease or acute kidney disease, um, but for acute kidney disease, it's not permanent. Chronic kidney disease, that's how the patient um, filters their blood and moves their blood, um, removes, removes waste from their blood. So some advantages of um, hemodialysis is that fluid is rapidly moved and rapidly cleansed. There's a removal of urea and creatine, which are the big um, waste products of our body. Diuretics are dietary. Um, triglycerides are lowered. Home dialysis is possible, but their home must be a very clean environment because of the primary uh, reason for death are either either disease or falls or infection. So that's one of the big hitters. And effectively, effectively um, removes potassium. There's some protein loss in dialysis. Some disadvantages are you need a fistula or vascular access. Um, your heparin is required specialized equipment and very uh, specialized and trained staff are needed for this entire process. Uh, to be possible, and it's very expensive, over two to four thousand dollars per treatment per dialysis. So it's very complex. What complications can occur? Hypotension is the primary complication that could occur, and uh, uh, they can be pre-medicated or medicated afterwards. Nausea, vomiting, cramping. Um, Disequilibrium, um, electrolyte imbalances such as hypovolemia, hyperkalemia, hypercalcemia, hypernatremia, hypernatremia, hyponatremia. Excuse me. Um, you can be react to the dialyzer. So, a process of dialysis is um, with using a fistula. Your body. Um, let me show you guys this picture. So, your blood is picked up from your body. It mixes in with this dialyzer, and the dialyzer diffuses all the urea and the creatinine out of your body, and your body, your body is returned back to your artery. Uh, and your fistula is the combining of both your artery and your vein. Um, and... So with that, I forgot my, my train of thought, but um, with that, you need a vascular access. And, oh, I knew where it was. Dialysis react, uh, reaction uh, can be reacted. You can have an air emboli. You can, the dialyser might not be the one that your body um, likes. Um, you're going to be put on different types of medication after your dialysis treatment, like epigen, because you're not making um, your own blood anymore, or you're not making your blood. Um, you're going to need more blood. Um, Pericardial synthesized vitamin D, human made um, vitamin D. And iron sucralose, which costs about several hundred dollars. Um, so per treatment, you're 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 doing this at least three times a week, so it's gonna be a pretty penny. And you also need vascular accesses like a shunt, a V, uh, arterial ve venous shunt, and that's internal EP shunt, uh, fistula grafts. Um, and those are all going to be um, replaced. Uh, replace your 
filtering system called your kidneys. Um, hemodialysis process. Um, um, heparin is added to your process uh, as it flows from the to the dilator, and it also um, saline is also added, and needles are removed for uh, firm pressure called with gauze. Nursing care and treatment. So the nurse is to assess the skin, the temperature, um, access devices, assess. Also, um, during treatment, monitor. Before you, yeah, you need to listen for a throw. Listen for a brewery and feel for a throw. Uh, vitals, and make sure the arm is seen at a uh, glance. Hemodialysis and complication is, um, like I said before, hypotension, muscle cramping, because muscle cramping, cramping can be um, easily fixed by slowing down the infusion rate, but loss and prevention, you need to prevent blood loss. Hepatitis um, patients are isolated. Um, septic, uh, bad technique can cause septic, like cannulating the fistula can cause sepsis. Dialy dialys dialysis disequilibrium syndrome, the severe uh, nausea, vomiting, twitching, mental. mental confusion and seizure and headaches. Vascular abscesses dysfunctions is also a complication of dialysis. Um, sterile technique must be maintained. If incorrect dialysis is used, you guys we can cause um, um, issues as well. Contaminated dialyzer causing infection and air emboli. Fistula care. Um, don't sleep on that side. Don't wear restricted clothing. No blood draws or lab on that side. And no um, heavy lifting should be on that side. Um, you can have dialysis as, as, at home, but um, the advantages are you're in control of your own schedule. You have to go back and forth to the clinic. That's really annoying. Um, clean blood three to six times a week, so you're, it's going to decrease your time of being fatigued, less restrictive diet, and um, it probably it requires fewer meds, and you're going to be more energetic if if that. Um, have the disadvantages are um, you're going to have to be trained, and training takes at least about four weeks, I believe, four weeks or more. Um, and the pressure is on to you because you're the one that's going to be monitoring your, all of your own vitals, making sure that you are okay, or your whoever is in the home. Um, you're, if the house needs to be as clean as possible or clean, um, this will reduce risk for infection. Now you're going to need lots of space because it's a lot of equipment, takes up a lot of space, and you need to maintain a schedule. Um, yeah. And that is all. Thank you very much.